cryptography and security. And from past three years, I'm also working as a junior project officer in a research project funded by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India, uh, in uh, at uh, Crypto Research Lab, uh, CSE Department, IIT Kharagpur. So, so um, the outline of today's uh, talk is as below. So, uh, we first discuss some definition and terminologies related to cryptography then we will discuss some historical stuffs related to crypto and then we will see some historical ciphers and how they are broken and then gradually we shift toward the modern cryptography and what purpose they serve and then uh, we will also discuss some type of cryptographic protocol and uh, also discuss some um, uh, uh, some popularly known cryptanalytics, uh, cryptanalytic techniques, and lastly, we will discuss uh, the real world cryptography, and we try to light the gap uh, between the cryptography and theory and uh, cryptography in practice. So, in that context, we will discuss about uh, a file encryption software, AES Crypt, and then uh, we will discuss about uh, some hardware design flow uh, and two type two main type of attack which are uh, two main type of vulnerable hardware vulnerabilities which are possible due to that design flow and uh, so uh, lastly we will also discuss about the pegasus spyware uh, which uh, got huge news coverage worldwide recently so Cryptography, uh, this cryptography word comes from uh, two Greek words. One is cryptos, which means hidden or secret, and the other one is griffin, so which means writing. So uh, in a general sense, cryptography is uh, constructing and analyzing uh, the protocols that prevents third parties from uh, reading some private message. So here we must uh, uh, we must know that cryptography is the study of uh, and the techniques to protect uh, contents from uh, data in uh, transit and data traced and cryptanalysis includes all the methods uh, of breaking the cryptographic protocols and uh, security systems and uh, where cryptology uh, that includes both cryptography and all the things related to cryptanalysis so before uh, proceeding anything else, uh, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, all of you must be introduced with Alice and Bob. So these are two fictional characters. Uh, cryptographers love to uh, describe any concept, relate, uh, whether it is maybe design, uh, some kind of attacks and analysis, uh, maybe some uh, to describe the probable security anything they always use this uh, uh, always take help from alice and bob and uh, yeah so coming to uh, crypt historical ciphers so now we'll discuss about a uh, little bit about the cryptographic related history so uh, the effort of uh, effort to secure, uh, secure private messages is as early as the forts. So uh, the first recorded use of cryptography was uh, by the Spartans. So they have used a cipher called Skytel, uh, uh, and that was maybe uh, around 500 BC, and uh, to 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 secretly communicate between uh, the military commander military commanders so skytel is a cylindrical tool uh, as we, we can see in this left hand side image and uh, a strip of parchment is wound around it uh, on which secret message is written and uh, for decryption purpose we a same a same type of cylindrical cylinder is used and uh, um, that cylinder must have uh, must have uh, the same diameter as what is used during the encryption process, and uh, yeah, so 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 the same diameter that is used where the encryption process is used, uh, that is used to uh, to retrieve the secret message. So this was a kind of uh, transposition cipher. We'll discuss more about these things later. 
So in this slide, we can uh, see the classifications of traditional ciphers. So uh, all such ciphers were uh, mainly of symmetric key in nature. So broadly, uh, they are of two types. One is substitution cipher and the other one is transposition cipher. Then uh, the substitution cipher is again classified into uh, two types. One is the monoalphabetic uh, substitution cipher and the other one is polyalphabetic substitution cipher. In, in a substitution cipher, a plain text uh, uh, contents get substituted based on some key value. And uh, when the uh, letter of plain text are mapped to the cipher text letter based on a single alphabetic key, it is called a monoalphabetic substitution cipher. And uh, uh, similarly, when multiple uh, alphabets substitute, uh, multiple alphabetic uh, substitution happens at the same time, uh, uh, that time that substitution cipher is called polyalphabetic substitution cipher. So, and where the transposition cipher, uh, no such substitution happens, but uh, the plain text alphabet uh, gets relatively uh, 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 relatively, uh, what should I say? They are uh, displaced, and uh, 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 so the previous cipher that we encountered, the Skytel one, that was a example of uh, this transposition cipher. So, so in uh, so in cryptography, so Caesar um, cipher is one of the earliest and simplest form of encryption technique. So it is a type of monoalphabetic substitution cipher. In CJS cipher, the letters are always shifted to three positions. Uh, a more advanced and generalized form of this cipher is called uh, uh, simple substitution cipher, where each monoalphabetics are replaced by uh, some random alphabets. And uh, uh, in, a, in a monoalphabetic substitution cipher, due to the absence of proper diffusion mechanism, all the plain text redundancies uh, they also remain in the cipher text. Like for English literature, the use of letter E is significantly higher than any other letters that we can see uh, in the statistic in the uh, right hand side image. And uh, so by analyzing only the cipher text, uh, the alphabet which appears the most in the, uh, can be the potential candidate for, sub, uh, for the su substitute of the alphabet E. Similarly, using this statistics value, and uh, given sufficient number of cipher text, we can derive the used key uh, with a fraction of second, maybe using modern computation power. So, so, so another traditional cipher is Wiener cipher. So, it was a polyalphabetic substitution cipher, and this cipher was introduced in the year 15. Uh, 1553 and was uh, secure for more than 300 years. So in this cipher, the key was a, um, was a secret word and the secret word uh, is placed iteratively in the sensitive mes message and uh, uh, corresponding set, um, uh, alphabet in the plain text are shifted accordingly. So given the example, uh, uh, we, uh, the example that uh, attack uh, attack at the dawn the, and the, our secret key is lemon. So the lemon is uh, co placed correspondingly behind, uh, under the plain text and uh, we can see the, uh, based on the corresponding key values, uh, the cipher text are generated like the A, uh, A and there the uh, for this letter L, 11 is added and the cipher text is A, L, and our, uh, where T and their uh, E value is added and the cipher text we get as key, A, X, and similarly for T, M is added and here we get F. And uh, unlike a substitution cipher, right here we can uh, see that uh, T once gets replaced by X and and, uh, and some other, other time, uh, this T, uh, it is replaced by some value that is F, but in uh, simple substitution or in CJ cipher, uh, 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 the T always gets re replaced by some uh, fixed value. So here we, uh, this is the last historical cipher that we'll see, and this is a type of transposition cipher. 
so simple this is uh, cipher name is simple simple column transposition so uh, for a plain text letter are yeah so so in this cipher the key is a uh, non negative integer value and uh, based on the key value a matrix is generated with a column uh, with a columns equals to the number uh, equals to the key value and now the message uh, alphabets alphabets are uh, loaded in the uh, origin, horizontal order way and uh, and the cipher text is read in the vertical order so in the right hand side uh, in the right hand side table we can we see that the message uh, golden statue is uh, in the 11th cave is loaded horizontally so we can see that the golden statue is loaded uh, yeah so golden statue is the uh, is in that 11th cave is loaded horizontally and where the cipher text uh, the number of column or the uh, or the here the key is 5 so so here we can see that the five columns are there and to get the cipher text uh, we read the um, alphabets in a column wise order so below you can see that the cipher text is g n u then n e a so that is all the alphabets are read in column wise order and this value is transmitted through some maybe uh, channel and maybe in writing also uh, where uh, other people can also inter intervene this but uh, given the uh, if, as as long as they do not know this uh, uh, column number or they cannot retrieve the sensitive information so now so uh, any of the traditional traditional ciphers uh, cannot stand for a fraction of second to modern computation power so though substitution cipher has large key size so uh, the lack of proper diffusion mechanism uh, but due to the lack of proper diffusion mechanism uh, uh, here frequency attack is possible and on that on the other hand for transposition cipher we have seen that the key size is very short so 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 when that uh, in this slide, we'll discuss about the characteristics of a good cipher, and it should be uh, it should be a good cipher should be free from complexity, and also the uh, the encrypted text should not be larger than the plain text. It 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 can never be smaller than. In that case, uh, the loss of information may happen. So it uh, it should also not be larger than the plain text side, the cipher text. So. The cipher should employ a good mechanism for confusion and diffusion, and also it should employ multiple iterative rounds. The security should not come. <coughs> sorry, the security should not come from uh, any kind of obscurity. That is, you you should not tweak the algorithm and keep that secret to you or your organization and use that uh, algorithm. Uh, the algorithm should be public and only secret uh, that uh, the only single secret should be there and that is the key and this is the standard principle that is known as Kharkov's principle and uh, nearly all proprietary ciphers uh, all encryption schemes have been broken uh, in the previously so like Enigma then zip crack etc on the other hand um, secure systems like GP, Open, SSL, TrueCrypt, they always use a standard and published algorithm which are openly available and verified by uh, many researchers. So, goals of modern cryptography. So, in today's computer world, cryptography serves many crucial things like confidentiality, then integrity, then avail availability, non repudiation. Uh, confidentiality is the assurance that only intended recipient of the message can read this uh, read the message and any third party uh, someone who without uh, proper authorization should not gain any information from the encrypted message and uh, uh, integrity integrity is the assurance that a piece of information has not been uh, altered uh, and uh, so this is the purpose uh, so this purpose is achieved uh, using message authentication code and cryptographic hash function maybe we all have seen uh, the, uh, the application of 
such things while downloading maybe a uh, operating system or any large so software from a legitimate source so they always provide uh, some md5 hash digest so one must always uh, cross check um, Hello, sir. Are you there? As your voice is not coming, sir. Hello. Sir, we are not getting your voice, sir. Hello. Mr. Saurabh, are you there?
dear attendees i, I think there is a network problem with our speaker so he will join in 2 minute please cooperate with us thank you Yeah, am I audible? Hello? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. Uh, due to heavy rain, uh, the internet is not reliable at my location, so I was trying to switch. Yeah. It took it longer. I'm sorry. So, um, so, yeah. 
Yeah, so from Ashin. OK, OK. OK, I'll then continue from integrity. Yeah, still is, it is breaking. OK, so enter, I'll start from integrity. So. OK, so integrity is a uh, is a assurance that a piece of information has not been altered. Like, uh, uh, so, 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 this purpose, uh, uh, this uh, this can be achieved by using uh, some form of message authentication code and uh, some cryptographic hashing technique. So, uh, maybe we all have, uh, uh, or, 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 or we all have used uh, um, this while downloading a OS uh, or any software, maybe a game website. So they all have some MD5. Is my voice clear? Hello? Hello? Yeah, so so maybe we all have used uh, such while uh, downloading an operating system or a software from a uh, legitimate legitimate source. The, uh, so the source always um, provides some MD5 hashing, uh, hash digest. So one must always uh, cross-check uh, the digest after uh, downloading it, uh, its to be so so one must always check it just after downloading it downloading the software local uh, to be sure that uh, no third part are injected okay Hello, hello. Ah, um, my my tone here. Oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. So, I'm sorry. The so, coming to the event, Uh, 
an example of this hello unmute the hi unmute the camera आवाज नहीं आ रही क्या हां सर एक्चुअली योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग अ लॉट ओके सो द एग्जांपल एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस कैन बी लाइक Uh, you you open your bank website and uh, as uh, your bank sir your voice is breaking sir and that too uh, we don't like listen clarity sir audio is something different You don't mind? Can you explain the algorithm, sir? Cryptographic algorithm. So, uh, an example, uh, an example of this uh, of uh, availability can be like uh, you open your bank website and uh, as a uh, believer of absolute privacy. Uh, your bank impose multiple layers of uh, security uh, maybe some in multiple layer of encryption protocols and uh, you get to see your uh, bank balance maybe after uh, waiting for 10 minutes so this uh, this, uh, uh, this should not happen actually so security should be there but it should not create uh, a noticeable overhead on the so and coming to the non repudiation so non repudiation students that uh, someone cannot deny the validity of something like a, a digital signature serves this purpose but but uh, it would be we use email as a, uh, as a basic, basic form of non repudiation like you send me one offer letter then uh, after a few days may be denying that you did not send so in that case what we can do we can use uh, the email as an evidence and uh, it can come from uh, if it if it came from your account and your domain so uh, you cannot uh, deny that action right. then coming to the types of cryptographic protocol so in this slide we will see that three types of uh, cryptographic protocols uh it is approved by nist so nist is a uh, american government agency so its full form is its full form is uh, institute of standards and technology so they generally develop technology and uh, uh, provide standard so this is a uh, this is the same agency which is the program and uh, so based on the type of um, type of cryptographic keys uh, nist has classified in uh, cryptographic protocols into three classes so one is the symmetric cryptography then the asymmetric cryptography and uh, lastly uh, hash function cryptographic hash function so so we'll uh, discuss all of this later so yeah so so simplicity cryptography this is also referred as a sorry algorithm so as 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 so before starting the communication the this must to a uh, some shared so this description are generally uh, faster than asymmetric 
symmetric key and hash function. So symmetric key is a generally used for providing confidentiality uh, and Excuse me, sir. Communication. Uh, all the communicating parties must have to uh, agree with a shared key. So that is a problem for uh, this. Uh, uh, excuse me, all the attendees. Uh, I just want to let you know that the meeting will be end at 7:45. So I request you all to rejoin with the given uh, with the link which Saurav Kashyap will provide you in the group. Uh, I am requesting you again to join with the new link as the meeting will be end at 7:45. Thank you.